Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we're going to be looking at some unexpected moments that cannot be explained. Self-driving car. Car manufacturers are spending vast sums of money to develop the vehicles of the future that are able to drive themselves. But this first video shows that some models might just be able to do it already, despite not having the technology you'd find in a Tesla. After driving across a busy road and parking her car, a woman and her passenger leave to go to their appointment. What happens next is unbelievable. Despite seemingly having been parked with the brake on, the car reverses out of the bay and drives around the corner into the nearby street. Okay, well that could be explained. Somebody else could have been in the back of the car, like sat in the back seat, but they just didn't get out. I'm not the best whenever it comes to knowing cars, but that is a possibility. Like that doesn't look like a new car. What type of car was it? It looks like an older one or it looks like a mum car. I don't know how to feel about that one. You may think this is just the case of someone leaving their vehicle in reverse, but then it starts driving forwards too, then reverses again and keeps changing direction until it comes to a full stop. Beyond how surprising it is that the car was able to behave like this on its own, what's also impressive is how it managed to avoid hitting any other road users, despite it being such a busy street. Okay, never mind. That might actually be real. I was thinking somebody was driving that car, but I don't think they are. Could it have been a dog? I don't think it could have. I mean, to be honest, there are videos of like dogs driving cars in like Russia and like America. I don't know, they're weird countries. Could it have been like a screw that like fell out of place and like ruined the inside to the car? I honestly don't know what to say. Like I'm actually flabbergasted. Elon Musk might need to start investing far more into research and development because it looks like some other companies are way ahead of him. Or their cars are just really bad and are literally falling apart. If that car like drove off and hit somebody and nobody was driving it, what would happen? Like would the owner of the car get arrested? That's why I don't want to drive. Like I'm never, ever, ever going to own a vehicle. Men in Black. The Men in Black are a mysterious organization that is believed by many people to be responsible for covering up any alien activity on Earth. I think I've seen this video before. If I'm correct, it's two men that walk into like an apartment complex or like some building. I don't know how to feel about the video was kind of freaky. The legend became so pervasive that a comic book and a movie series were based on them, but actual evidence of their existence in real life has been frustratingly sparse. This video, however, appears to change all of that. In 2008, the manager of a hotel near the Niagara Falls, Shane Sova, witnessed what he believed to be a triangular-shaped UFO near his room. He and his security guard reported it to the authorities. Oh, so apparently they've seen a UFO. I guess that's why the men in black are coming to visit them. I really hope this is fake. Like, I swear it is. Well, anyways, I hope it is. But didn't hear anything back until about a week later when something strange happened. Security camera footage from the hotel lobby caught the images of two mysterious men walking in and asking to speak to him. Witnesses described them as being tall, virtually identical to each other, and missing features such as eyelashes, eyebrows, and hair. But how do you know that's a man in black? Like, that could literally be people from the police station just in suits. I always try and think of, like, a reasonable explanation to explain the video, but I know that's just not the truth. Like, I know they're obviously the men in black and they're, like, aliens. They were also said to have unusually large eyes. They asked the receptionist to speak to Sova, but he wasn't there. She said that she felt that they knew exactly what she was thinking and they just simply walked away never to be seen again. This could well be the first time proof of the real Men in Black has ever been caught on camera and now not even a neuralizer could undo the memories of everyone that's seen what they look like. But the thing is, is it actually the Men in Black? I want to believe that they exist but I don't know. I feel like they definitely would. I mean, do the Men in Black work for the FBI? I guess they would. Like, that's why they're there. They work obviously for the government. Maybe they were just FBI people. The disappearance of Lars Mitter German Lars Mittank set out to explore the world just like many other people of his age do. We covered this in another video. Basically, this guy went into a building and he literally vanished into thin air, but we're gonna watch because it it's interesting. But in a peculiar twist, he mysteriously went missing on his travels and part of his disappearance was caught on camera. He had been in Bulgaria with a group of friends, but he suffered an ear injury that meant he had to stay in the country for a while longer after the others had left because of concerns with flying. He stayed in a room in a local hostel, but soon began to experience strange sensations. He thought he was being followed wherever he went and became suspicious of the hostel workers and anyone else he encountered. It became such a concern to him that he mentioned his worries to his family and friends and they suggested that he immediately book a flight to get home. I don't know if they're going to show the actual CCTV footage but basically there's videos of him running out of the airport and running into like a forest. It's really freaky because this man literally thought that people were following him and then he disappeared. But on his way to the airport he got a distinct impression that four people were following him and he called his mum to tell her. He reached the airport and the security Security footage shows him entering with all of his luggage ready to board a flight. For some reason though, he runs out of the airport, leaving his cases behind, and that's the last that anyone saw of him. It's so freaky, isn't it? Like, why did he run 
gone out? Did he see somebody or does he know something that we don't know? And the thing is, he was never found. Like, nobody knows where this man is. It's scary. Like, I really want to know what happened to these people, but these videos are literally unexplainable. Like, we don't know what happened. According to eyewitness accounts from the time, Mitank ran towards a barbed wire fence, climbed over it, and ran off into the woodland on the other side. In the next few days, authorities were unable to find any trace of what happened to him, and he remains one of the most peculiar missing person cases of recent times. So basically, nobody knows where he is. Like, is that not so scary? Obviously, something happened, and I think there was, like, maybe something wrong with his brain. He got, like, an injury, and he had, like, I don't know, get a surgery, something like that. Basically, he injured himself, and he started thinking that people were, like, following him. I covered it in another video, but yeah, he disappeared, and nobody knows where he is. Unexplained flying object. At first, nothing seems too unusual about this video, but when you play it back in slow motion, you realize that something very strange just happened. The owner of a car walks up to their vehicle in a parking garage and put down their belongings so they can find their car keys. Suddenly, all the alarms of the nearby cars set off. But what could have possibly done that? I'm hoping it was a pigeon. Like, pigeons fly really quickly and they're really fat and fast. I hope it wasn't a UFO. Maybe it was a drone. Like, a drone is technically a UFO. I just hope it's not aliens. Surely they aren't sensitive enough to be triggered by someone shopping. Watching it back slowly gives an explanation, but one that raises far more questions than it answers. You can clearly see an object flying past quickly, and it seems that it's this that has caused the commotion. The car owner even looks in the direction of the object for a brief moment, implying that they sensed the presence of something there. It was just a big fat pigeon, I'm telling you right now, it was a gigantic pigeon. There was absolutely no way that it was a UFO, I'm tricking myself into thinking it's not a UFO and it's working. But it disappeared just as quickly as it had appeared, and no one's seen anything like it since. This a ghoulish spirit playing tricks on people, or something far more sinister. We'll never know for sure, but next time you're near a car and the alarm is set off unexpectedly, you ought to take a look around you, just in case it's been caused by something equally as surprising. Or just look for a really fat pigeon or like a drone. I hate reacting to these videos because I always get scared. Like, why do you guys want me to do this? UFO in Chile. Most UFO sightings in the world occur in the US, which, depending on how you see it, could be a sign that aliens would want to visit that country first, or that the people are more likely to see them for whatever reason. There are occasional reports elsewhere though and this video shows an unusual object off the coast of Chile. Images were captured by a Navy patrol boat who at first thought it was a helicopter. Things took a surprising turn for them when they contacted air traffic control however who confirmed that there were no flights in the area at the time. The object began to make some unusual maneuvers and started to release thick smoke that almost looks like a cloud. Guys there was just somebody flying their drone and it malfunctioned. Why do UFOs exist? Like I know they do I've literally seen them. In my whole life I'd never seen a shooting star or a UFO or anything. In the last two years I think I've seen two. It's freaky like I'm telling you aliens are after me. What's even more peculiar is that this cloud couldn't be seen by the naked eye and could only be detected on negative camera footage. So what could it possibly be? Before long the unidentified object separated itself from whatever it had released and then flew off out of sight. This is the only time an event like this has been witnessed and the object was never seen again. Was it a secret government project or an alien ship experimenting on our atmosphere? I'm gonna be completely honest it was probably just like a bird or like a camera glitch. I mean, if it was only seen on the camera, that means it could be a camera glitch. They need to update their cameras because their cameras are broken. They think they're seeing UFOs. Great alien on Skype. Skype has revolutionized online communication and made it easier than ever to keep in contact with your friends around the world. The technology doesn't come without its problems though. There are far more confusing things that can happen beyond a poor signal or getting cut off. In 2012, some friends were having a Skype chat between themselves when all of a sudden the image of something else cut in. This wasn't another one of their friends but instead look to be more like a gray alien. I'm sorry that's fake I'm skipping that one. They're literally trolling us. There's no way somebody came across a gray alien on Skype like they're literally having a laugh. CERN secret ritual. The large Hadron Collider at the CERN laboratory in Geneva Switzerland is the biggest machine that's ever been made and fills 17 miles of tunnels beneath the countryside. It was designed to study the structure of the smallest things in nature and collides particles together at almost the speed of light. I'm gonna be completely honest I don't know what that is it's not like a big machine that like is miles long. I'm telling you the world's gonna end soon. Like we are literally messing up the world. Everything's going wrong from UFOs to politics to climate change to everything. You guys were doomed. Creepy clowns. Clowns are scary at the best of times. But this video from Jacksonville, Florida takes things to a whole new level. Groups of clowns started showing up in the town at different times during the day. Do you guys remember the clown trend years ago where there was like killer 
clients everywhere. I never seen any in real life, but there were some in my area. I wonder what type of rubbish conspiracy theory they're gonna make up about these clowns. I don't like it, like I don't like whenever people dress up as clowns and chase after you. And instead of being friendly to the residents, they started trying to creep them out. They seemed to be specifically targeting homes with security systems to ensure they'd be caught on camera and then started doing strange things. A lot of the time, they'd just stand still and stare into the cameras or with a fixed gaze, walk up closer towards them. That's just so freaky, isn't it? Like, imagine you're lying in your bed and you look at your CCTV cameras and there's a clown staring into one. That's literally my biggest fear ever. Like, you don't know. Somebody could literally be listening to you right now. Guys, lock your doors because there could literally be a killer clown outside. Anyways, guys, that is the end of the video. That was some unexpected moments that cannot be explained. Whenever I watch these videos, I usually get kind of scared because, like, it's literally terrifying. Like, we don't know what happened. Anyways, hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, smash the subscribe button. And yes, I will see you all in my next video.